Hello everyone. Today is the important day about we are introduced about the blade of the engine of aircraft CFM. This is the part number of the fan blade of the SH1 for the engine of CFM 56 CFM 80 CFM 80 C2 CFM 80 C5 and C6 The fan rotor assembly is a major sub assembly of the fan module the major components of the fan rotor assembly uh, as the follow of the picture of the engine manual about this picture this is the SH1 of the fan model of the engine uh, combustion and uh, the alloy of the fan blade is very important uh, and uh, for, for rotor blade this fan blade is a rotor blade and rotor blades are made of titanium uh, and very big size uh, uh, and uh, it's may uh, produced, it's made the production of this fan blade uh, of the titanium to obtain the proper combination of strength and weight for the lightweight and the first SH blades uh, that you can see are retained in the disc dovetail axial slots the SH2 through five blades are retained in the small circumferential dovetail slots. Integral platforms on the first stage blades provide a, a contoured surface to smooth airflow through the fan in the air. After aircraft uh, takeoff, the airflow through the fan is smooth and go to the hot section of the engine the SH1 blades you can see uh, are appro appro approximately uh, 30 inch uh, 762 millimeter long and designed with a mid span you can see this is the mid span uh, and designed with a mid uh, span should that uh, protrudes from both sides of the airfoil because when uh, the air uh, current about the this fan blade this uh, do, this dovetail you can see this the, this dovetail uh, and should in the mid span of the fan blade uh, uh, cut the air uh, for the engine the shrouds these shrouds in the both side of the rotor blade of the SH1 this shroud is very important the shrouds on each blade interlock with shrouds on adjustment blades to form continuously You can see this is the assembly section of the fan blade this is the assembly section of the fan blade that uh, insert in the disc of the SH1 the shoes of each blade interlock with shoes of adjacent blades to form a continuous ring which adds uh, torsional rigidity and dampens vibration air spring loaded kate spacer exert a radial force on the blade will the kate retainer engage the forward flange of the disc to provide the blade from moving axially forward removal spacer 
removal spacer allows blade to move radially inward. This disengages the middle smash roots allowed individual blade removal and installation. This is the a special titanium alloy, very, very light and uh, increase the smooth and uh, decrease the weight, increase the S range and very, very improvement the engine efficiency. If you can see many Uh, in the engine, in the all engine assembly, you can see in the picture the fan blade in the stage one. This is the stage one fan blade. This is the stage two, stage three, stage four, and stage five. Uh, and this is the um, disc circle, circular. Uh, assembly of the fan blade, uh, all, all of the around of disc rotor assembly. You can see the explosion uh, drawing of the engine and assembly of the fan rotor assembly. And when the shroud inset and engage in the disc, you can see the dovetail is fixed in the uh, insert of the disc. And uh, fan rotor assembly uh, very fixed and no uh, vibration. We are here about the uh, defect of the fan blade. You can see after the operation, this cracking is uh, and damage on the fan blade uh, observed. This uh, the procedures give instruction to mark the stage one fan blade. Uh, you can see a need to clean uh, about the fan blade first. For the cleaning uh, of the fan blade, uh, you can see. For the cleaning of the fan blade after disassembly uh, the engine and disassembly the engine blades of the fan blade from the rotor assembly, a standard tools and equipment according to the Pratt and Whitney or uh, CFM uh, needs to repair and cleaning of the fan blade. The alloy of the titanium uh, refer to the cleaning methods in the engine manuals. Uh, that you can see alcohol and uh, very very uh, standard methods for cleaning the titanium. Uh, you can use for the cleaning of this fabulite. Blades corrected uh, by shallow uh, vibro pinning uh, and shot pinning a uh, line through the previous uh, operation in the aircraft. You can use the shot pinning or uh, vibro pinning for the cleaning of the any dust and any uh, dirty uh, spaces and killing the fan blade. If, if uh, after the cleaning you uh, see that uh, according to this uh, uh, middle span uh, section, if uh, any coating uh, damage, uh, the procedure and instruction for the slipping and recording of the middle span need. The hard coat of the middle span uh, 
According to the General Electric uh, uh, Aircraft Engines and Pratt and Whitney, require a technical license agreement and repair source substantial uh, period to use. The repair contains a serious complex. Uh, priority processes which could adversely affect engines reliability and performance uh, uh, that it is necessary to sub substantiate uh, the ability of the adequacy of the repair source to successfully accomplish the specific repair this is a very very special hard code the repair source perform the repair uh, must uh, requirement of the documents provided from the uh, NG manufacturer. Uh, for the cleaning, you can use a clothes bath uh, or brush and abrasive clothes uh, 320 grit abrasive clothes and uh, light duty alkaline cleaning of titanium alloys standard method in the engine manuals of the CFM General Electric Rolls Royce and Pratt and Whitney uh, engine manuals uh, you can see that for this cleaning uh, if you want to short spinning of this uh, blade it, this blade is very sensitive to damage uh, and uh, you need uh, to uh, very very specialist to shot pinning or vibro pinning of this uh, blade about the thickness of this blade is very very uh, low and uh, maybe if you don't uh, apply uh, optimum the pressure uh, you can damage and scrap the blade when dovetail, if you can see dovetail of the of the fan blade, the coating is removable or damaged, and you can see the corrosion on the dovetail uh, observed. Uh, when dovetail coating uh, uh, are present and no damage, a mask coating with several layers of tape is needed for uh, no uh, for uh, application no damage to the dovetail coating vibrating finishing machine which is loaded with coarse media uh, uh, aluminium oxide uh, is that a single blade only is the single blade into machine unit blade is completely submerged in media allow blade to remain in vibrate machine at least three hours plus or means five minutes visually check the machine at least every 10 minutes it's very important and uh, after finishing remove blades from machine you can uh, use the inspection of the surface finish of the blade other plans about mid span screws at four locations working in a short size and short wise direction from leading edge to trailing edge the average surface finish must be at least 35 micro inch it's very important fine finish blades turn on uh, need to uh, take in vibratory machine which is